Hi everyone, quick haul video for Sunday the 7th October 2018. Uh, a couple of items I picked up, uh, mainly trainers and pencils or converses and that kind of stuff and Nike trainers you can see. Right, let's go through them. Right, this first item, HP printer, printer cartridge, printer ink. Now, uh, this weighing scale and this cartridge, the printer ink cartridge. Uh, both I paid five pound. Four pound for the ink and a, a quid for the the way, way uh, yeah the scale yeah. <coughs> excuse me as you can see the box is being well they've taken out literally they've taken out from the box and then the chap realized he bought the wrong wrong cartridge for his printer so it's still in the packet never used realized his mistake so I've, I've sold a few cartridges before so I think that will be snapped up quickly I have to explain properly the reason being because he, uh, he assured me that he uh, opened the box realized the wrong ones and there's nothing you can do right so I've bought it for four quid right next um, Next one is the Nike right. Nike Air. Yeah, what is this? Let's have a look at that. Uh, Air Max. Yeah, nice Air Max. Yeah, Nike Air Max. What are we talking about? Right. Silvery kind of one, size 10. And uh, in a very pretty, very good condition. That is hardly... Uh, no faulty. I don't need to do any much cleaning on that one. Uh, wanted 10 quid. I buttered it down a bit. It didn't work. And I just picked it up for 10. I think I easily can get 10 quid back on those. No problem there. The next pair is again a Nike. Sorry. Uh, Nike Air Flight. Size 11. Quite good condition, a few scuffing mark here. Um, is it scuffing mark or oh, just rubbing mark? Yeah, yep, no problem. Uh, threads are good, needs a good clean, and hopefully, wanted eight quid, paid seven quid for it. Uh, again, that will sell quite easily. Next two pair, um, a converse here, yeah, very uh, well, good condition, yeah, yeah, the threads are fine, absolutely fine, nothing wrong with that, it's um, like a fleecy type of material, that one, yeah, so, yeah, like a garment type of in a, um, yeah it's a nice very pretty condition actually in pretty condition and same goes with this pair this is a all white leather by the way I think I'm listing one at the moment so this is size where uh, I can't work this out yeah size 8 Eight. Let's have a look. It's difficult. Yeah, size eight. Yeah, I'm actually listing one at the moment now. This one's in very good condition. Yeah, slightly clean up to do using wipes. Right, both of those. Uh, the guy wanted fourteen quid. I end up paying him ten quid for it. Okay, so that's two. <coughs> the next two is I had to buy this because I never come across this yet. It's like a kind of turtony 
yeah um, this one's converse again very nice condition size 7 is it size 7? sure what the hell sorry can't read this yeah size let's have a look at this it's telling you out of my head it's not size let's go on. yeah that one's size 8 yeah I I I couldn't help buying these two pair because it's, look look I just love the you know the print you know and, and this one's like a spotty Mr. Bubbles from the BBC, I guess BBC student in need to sort of like spotty. Again, nice condition, very nice condition indeed. Look, both of them. This is size seven. Um, eight quid for the pair from the same seller. Right here, yeah. there's uh, again. Uh, Pair of Converse here, all black. This is size 11. Size 11 in very, very good condition. In this, all these are very good condition. Look at them, all of them. Again, I think this one, size also 11. Is it 11? Let's open up. Yeah, size 11. Okay, yeah. Again, yeah, these are all size 11, and this purple one, yeah, also size 11. And this pair needs a bit of you know, slightly cleaning. I'm not going to bother to put it in a washing machine, I can put it in a washing machine, but you know, I just give it a rub, little rub here and there. Okay, that's uh, size 11 again, and the last pair is this Nike um, Nike Free Run 2 also quite good size 11 All right I'm just guessing size 11 hopefully yeah size 11 because I bought it from the same guy now all of these pairs 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 pairs uh, I paid him 30 quid. 30 quid for those lovely, jubbly pair of converses and a pair of Nike for 30 quid. So he's, he, he works on average 6 quid a pair. Right, and I'm sure you know one of these pair will bring me 30 quid on his own. Never mind all the other lot, okay? So you know what to look for. So best, uh, I found a small a window where I'm I'm selling more of higher 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 sizes like from nine to twelve sizes are selling pretty fast and there's a small market for it for those type of size and these last two are two Harachis uh, quite good condition again needs a bit of cleaning. Okay, uh, size eight. Yeah, size eight. So I'm just I was checking these two pairs up, and the guy wanted fourteen quid for the both, right? And I've just noticed, and you can have a look at this. Sometime when you buy Harachi, right? Make sure you see the back tag of this sometimes it gets missing or they cut it off or see the back of this look it's not there I'm not sure if they originally come like this or they've just taken it out Look the back I'm sure they've taken it out or somehow they just cut it off or something right so I said to him how about 10 quid for both here and he agreed to that so I bought those two pair for 10 quid because normally if this have um, this is the uh, if, if this kind of like this stripe at the back, they should have a stripe here, shouldn't they? I'm not sure. They, I'm gonna check this out. 
I don't want to give you false information about this because surely they will have a stripe like this at the back of this this pair here and they don't have it so um, so yeah when you buy this pair make sure you have a stripe at the back you know the the band this band here I'm not sure how that works but there you go so I paid 10 quid for those two pair okay so the reason I'm I'm selling you know size higher size like 10 11 12 is that there is a small um, gap in the market for that kind of size a lot of people they hard it's very difficult to get high sizes let's put it this way so a lot of people most people tend to stick to size 7 to 10 I guess 9 and they don't go beyond 10 11 12 and I'm finding there's a little niche for upper size yeah so that's about it for this week uh, ladies and gents for the pickup haul yeah so I'm trying to stay away from other bits and pieces I'm finding um, trainers is my thing and I'm sort of moving towards this kind of stuff yeah rather than just picking up willy nilly and then struggling to sell it right so um i hope you enjoyed this video and all of my other videos please please make sure you click like subscribe and comment uh, and i'm not getting much comment or subscription on this channel you know i need you need to kick this you know damage the like button and subscribe button you got to do it you know hit a big time come on show your appreciation because I have a few other videos YouTube channel and they're doing fantastic. A cooking channel with 15,000 subscribers almost. Right here I'm looking at 145. Come on, I need to, you guys to show your appreciation. And, you know, when in car boots, I'll pick this stuff up. You know, watch my videos and pick them up. And make sure, you know, you look. When you're buying this trainer, make sure you look at the details of those trainers before you pick them up. So many times I've been burned picking up stuff without thinking. You know, you just buy on impulse, then you realize, uh oh, and the mistake occurs. Okay. Right, so you're probably wondering why is he buying a lot of converses and we're coming out to winter now in the UK. And the simple reason is, look, I will put them up. If he sells, it sells. If he doesn't, I don't really mind because end of the day, I have an eBay store. No matter what, I have to pay eBay the fee, monthly fee anyway. So... <laughs> Even if I put up five listing and I have a EV shop, I have to pay them thirty pound a month. There's there is no ifs or buts. So I might as well stick them up. If it sells, it sells. If it doesn't, maybe come to the summertime, it will sell. Simple as that. You know that's the reason um, I buy Converse. Just basically stock up my level uh, you know some people what they will do they'll buy it and they will literally store it for the summer period there's no need for that just list them list them and if he sells sells if he doesn't wait till summer then he will sell anyway because you're going to end up paying the fee ebay fee whatever happens if you're going to straight on ebay you will have to have a shop and you have to pay the fees so what's the point of paying ebay for a couple of hundred listing fees where you have 10, 15, 20 items there sitting there. If you list it, chances of you'll sell it. So that's my view. I'm sure you'll have a different view. Uh, that's fine. Right. So please, please, please make sure you click the like and subscribe button and comment on my video. And hopefully you'll watch those next videos and Look forward to do another one for you. Thank you so much.